Welcome back guys to another episode. Now what you are looking at is my hamster Ronaldo in his this is my tub and I put two towels. Now the thing is I took out all the water obviously because water is not good for them. And if you did not know, by any chance if you don't know, never bathe a hamster in water. You could always bathe them in sand. They like that more. It's good for them. Water is bad for them. It takes out oils and your fur. But anyways, out of that topic. Now, let's say for some reason you cannot have a playpen or a play like ground for your hamster. Th you could use your tub. Now, what I recommend is putting. I put two towels here in case one's not enough. And and I do it just in case he like there's a the hole where the water comes out like about there, so I don't want him getting close to that or anything like that. The towel also makes the ground soft, not rough or like slippery like it is. Also, since the tub is high and it's not really something you can climb, that's good. Also, if you're wanting to train your hamster, I don't. I'm just putting him here so he can run around right now. But eventually I'll want to train my hamster, and this is a good method to train your hamster. Because you could sit here with your hamster, and you could be, like, with your hamster, you could, since you're sitting with him, he can come onto you, walk on your leg, and it's, it's a good training. So, that also is recommended as that. Now, today I have three toys for him, and then he can run around. Because in the wild, they run a lot. So this is good. I gave him a, a side where he runs like that, a wheel like that, a wheel where he runs that, like forward, and then I gave him this little playground. So here he is, just running on his wheel. So as you see, he is running on his wheel. He's very happy. I like him being happy. Now, talking about happy, you should always keep your hamster stress-free because there is a disease that's very common. Well, it's not common to the like infecting hamsters, but a lot of people know it. It's wet tail, and it's a stress. It's a stress sickness, which is has no cure and it's fatal. So, always try to keep your hamster in stress-free areas and environments, so there's that decreases the chances of him getting wet tail. Anyways, so here you could just see Ronaldo as he runs around. Now, anyways, problem is with wet tail. Like I said, it has no cure, so. Like I was saying before, it's always good to keep him stress free, give him toys. Also, if you saw my last my last video with the hamster cages, do not want you should not have a very small cage. That can also stress them out. Also water stresses them out. So all these things will stress hamsters. So stay clear of these stuff, of these things that happen. That shadow, by the way, if you're wondering, is towels above, so. Now, anyways, I said this in my last video. Stay tuned for the Shark Week finale. It's going to be very cool. Stay tuned for more videos with sharks. I've seen sharks and stuff, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more videos with hamsters. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.